Please welcome Kevin Litt, Field Director for the Boy Scouts of America. How's everyone doing? All right, very good. I'm here from the Boy Scouts. You probably think that I'm probably best qualified to teach you guys uh, how to tie a square knot, how to start a fire by rubbing two sticks together, or the absolute proper technique for helping an old lady cross the street. Thank you for laughing. These are all things that I'm very highly qualified to teach you, but that's not what I'm talking about today. Today, what I want to talk to you guys about is the greatest leadership secret. There's a great leadership secret, and, and I want to share it with you, but instead of just telling you what it is, because that would be way too simple, I'm going to give you six hints. You see if you can figure it out uh, when we get to the end, okay? The first uh, hint to this greatest leadership secret is that's a, that it's a palindrome, sort of. You guys all know what a palindrome is, right? It's a word or a phrase. It's written the same way forwards as it is backwards. Let's take a look at a couple. Madam, madam, I'm madam. Race car, senile felines, or my personal favorite, a Santa dog lived as a deviled god at NASA. I found that on the internet. So hint number one, the greatest leadership secret is a palindrome, sort of. Okay, hint number two. You gotta lead from the inside out. So you see this jar here, it's full of rocks. Would you consider it full? What if I were to pour sand into the jar and fill the space in between the rocks? Then would it be full? Even further, what if I were to pour water into the sand in the jar until it flowed over the top? Then would it be full? What's the point of this whole little demonstration up here? It's that if you don't put those big rocks in first into that jar, you're never gonna fit them. They're never gonna happen, it's never gonna get in there. So what are the big rocks in your life? Food, security, good health, time with your loved ones, faith, your education. You gotta lead from the inside out, you gotta lead yourself first. There will still be space left in your life after you put your big rocks in to lead and serve others. But you'll be better at leading others because you first led yourself. So, lead from the inside out. Our third hint is that great leaders are great teachers. Great leaders develop their people. They develop leaders who can lead themselves. The ultimate test for a leader is not whether they can make a good decision, but whether they can teach others to be leaders, whether they can build an organization that can run even when they're not there. Great leaders help others to think, to judge, and to act. If you're not teaching as a leader, you're not doing your full job. Another couple things about being a great leader. Great leaders are lifelong learners, always pulling information. They've got a passion for learning. They also assess, analyze everything they do, and they're always trying new things. In the business world, you might know these terms as continuous quality improvement or total quality management. You guys heard that before, right? Doesn't matter what you call it. What you need to know is that with continuous and careful analysis, everything we do can be improved. Everything we work on. And as an inv individual or as a team, we can do things better. Great leaders are great teachers. Hint number four, built heart connections. What I want to focus on here is communication, about caring for and about other people. You have to respect and value people. Great leaders always do. Even those whom you disagree with or think are different. Heart connections about genuine care and respect. Respect only has value when it's given freely and genuinely. People can see through counterfeit respect and caring. You probably see it all the time at work. Think about how a parent um, deals with a child as they grow, as they learn. At some point, as a parent, we have to let our children go. We have to get out of their way and let them succeed on their own. And it's the same with leadership. Nurture, encourage, and care for others and develop a genuine respect for them. Build those heart connections. All right, hint number five. It's in every one of us. Got to take charge of your own life. The first step towards being able to lead others is to be able to lead yourself and take responsibility. Accept the responsibility for your own growth and progress and turn that responsibility outward. Empower the others that you work with so that, uh, that you lead, so that way they can, um, uh, yes. <laughs> Allow people to realize and utilize their own abilities. Help them develop a self-confidence. The great thing about leadership is all people have an untapped leadership ability. It's just like athletic ability. Most of us probably can't go out and run a marathon today, but if we trained, we could do it. Leadership's the same way. 
Coaching and practice brings out that ability, helps other people find it, and effective leaders empower themselves and bring out the best in everyone. And I have one last hint for the greatest leadership secret, and that is that it helps you leave a legacy. Leadership can be studied and practiced. We can all get better at it. We can all win at this game of life, and we can leave a legacy that brings us satisfaction and pride. What will your legacy be? What impact will you have on others? How will you bring your leadership to the programs out here at NASA? So, what is this greatest leadership secret? Uh, let's review real quick. First of all, we know that it's a palindrome, and that we know that it contains the five attributes of a leader. Lead from the inside out, great leaders are great teachers, build heart connections, it's in every one of us, and leave a legacy. The greatest leadership secret is infused throughout the uh, human history, though its message may be worded in several different ways. Lord Baden-Powell, the founder of the World Scouting Movement, said, real leadership, or, uh, the real way to happiness is by giving out happiness. Confucius, the ancient Chinese teacher, said, what you do not want done to yourself, do not do to others. And Socrates, the Greek philosopher, said, do not do unto others that which would anger you if they did it to you. So what is this greatest leadership secret? It's simply the golden rule. Do unto others as you'd have others do unto you. It's few words encompass what great leadership is all about. It tells us what we need to know about leadership. As a leader and as a human being, we can all strive to meet this challenge called life. And in doing so, we will find our lives enriched with the knowledge that we are doing our best. I want to leave you with one last thought. And it comes from a man named Frank Crane. And he wrote, the golden rule is of no use to you whatsoever unless you realize it's your move. All of you have the knowledge to be great leaders. And you will have uh, opportunities every day to change people's lives. Each of you can leave a legacy, but none of that happens unless you take action. So what will your legacy be? It's your move.